what's good, YouTube and returning life gainers, all knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful, just damn all everything, the sexy as hell host and the brand new sexy as hell studios, bringing you guys all kinds of YouTube videos on everything to bring you entertainment, information, and occasionally just general help. And what we're talking about today is kind of a sad story. But in case you guys didn't know, because some of you don't follow the news as much as I do, um, and just to bring it in a nutshell, because I don't want this video to be long, there was an Olympic doctor, and I think he worked with Michigan State, and he was there training all these girls in the Olympics for, I think it's over some 20 odd years. And what happened was, come to find out, this bitch ass was feeling on all these girls and in some cases, he was fondling these girls in his doctor's office while the parents was there. Some of y'all might be wondering, well, how the hell are you doing that? Basically, he put his back to the parents, girls on the table. He's feeling all up in the coochie, sniffing his fingers, licking his fingers and shit. And the, par and the girls are telling their parents, I feel uncomfortable. But of course, the parents are trusting this man because he's a doctor. And... Over the years, they finally got enough evidence to bring it to court. Now, y'all know there is a mirage of cover-ups from the athletic director to the president. Hell, they even need to go after the damn crooked-ass NCAA. Because I do believe that the athletes that bring in the highest revenue, you need to be paying these guys. I'm a firm believer of that. You are circumventing capitalism by simply just trying to say, well, they're paying for their education. Now, it's bigger than that, dog, and you know better. But... This is one of the most heinous things. This guy has messed around with about 50-some underage girls over the course of 20 years. So he's guilty. He's going to be locked under the jail. And we get to the, the um, sentencing hearing, and one of the parents, the daddy, decides, you know what, going to jail ain't good enough for your ass. Let's take a look at what the daddy did. But first I gotta put on my plus seven sexy as hell headphones so we can get good clarity. I would ask you to, as part of the sentencing, to grant me five minutes in a locked room with this demon. I have would a feeling. Would you do that? I, I, that is not yes how our... No. He bold no, with sir, that I judge. Would you give me one minute? I, you know that I can't do that. That's not how I think it's going to judge I don't know if that was the judge in the background saying um, you can't behave like that you're letting him win <laughs> bullshit man dads your daughter is your baby girl well after she's 18 and I, I, damn all this the political stuff if somebody has been caught fondling molesting your underage little girl you would have done the same damn thing you might even would have came in there with a weapon dare i say something that shoots so i don't even want to hear that shit that judge talking about you're letting him win his ass done got away with this for 20 years everybody from the top down need to crumble because it makes no sense this man has been fondling people's child like that i mean it's just i have no tolerance for that i don't have kids but I, a lot of my friends have daughters and they said they would have done the same thing this guy did and maybe worse. And, you know, going to jail, I, that's the legal system, right? You're not supposed to argue with that. But this is YouTube and we're going to argue that. That's not enough, really. 
I mean, he's going to jail, but think of the, the way he's ruined these girls' lives. Think of what it's going to be like for them trying to get cozy with another man, the clamming up, the, the psychological stuff is going to go with. I mean, this is just wrong. I mean, I just feel like maybe they should let the parents get together, paper cut this guy. I mean, I don't know, man. I just don't feel like that is enough. But post your comments down below. If this was your daughter, what would you do? Do you fault the daddy for jumping across the thing? Just let me know because, I mean, I just feel like everybody from the NCAA all the way down, because for this man to do this for over 18 years, guys, there's a cover-up here. Somebody kept sweeping this under the rug. He ain't that good of a damn doctor for you to be sweeping this type of behavior under the rug. You know what I mean? Let me know how you feel about this. Comment. Go get yourself a life game. Keep watching. I'm going to be bringing you guys wild world news more often because so much stuff happens that seems like it's unbelievable and it's real life out here. It's real in the veal. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go out there and get yourself a life game. Check my links below this video. If you want to become a Patreon, which is a way to support this channel, donating 50 cent, a penny with a hole in it, whatever you want to donate, you can do that. Links is in the description. And until the next sexy as hell, wild world news video.